Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. So today I'm going to answer another question that I get a lot about T-Mobile Home Internet. You can see my gateway up there and how it compares to a phone. So there's a couple questions that people ask and one is if I get service uh, from T-Mobile at my house, can I get T-Mobile Home Internet? Another one is if I get 5G or if I get a specific speed on my cell phone, that's T-Mobile, will I get the same speed or better on T-Mobile Home Internet? And so I'll answer those questions. This is my wife's phone, which is T-Mobile and it's 5G plan. And then that obviously is also a T-Mobile plan. So I'll do a speed test here for you guys to compare it. I'll also talk a little bit about Verizon um, 5G as well on my other phone. So what I'll say is I've had T-Mobile home internet now for almost a year so a video is going to come up here soon for a one year review of what I think about it but for this one let's just focus on these speeds all right so the first question that I'll answer here is people say hey if I get T-Mobile cell service at my house can I get the home internet and I don't fault you for that question that seems like a logical question if I get their cell service why can I get their cell based home internet the website says that T-Mobile Home Internet isn't available at my address. Why is that? Well, that is simply because they are limiting how many users sign up in a specific area. They don't want to overload any towers and they want to spread it out. So no, just because you get T-Mobile service at your house does not mean that you can get it. Some people say, hey, my neighbor across the road has the home internet. Why can't I get it? It's for the same reason. In fact, it might be because your neighbor had the home internet that you can't get it. And it's because, again, they only want so many of these devices in a specific area connecting to specific towers. So that is kind of question number one. Now let's get to the speed question. So if I take the wife's phone here and to keep it fair, I'm going to go on the Wi-Fi and connect to that gateway so i'm using the same device to do the speed test in case anything's up with the um the actual device you know versus my computer you can see my computer here i ran some tests and um compared it but just to keep it fair i will connect here to that gateway and i'll do a screen recording okay so now we can scroll down we can see here i'm connected to the t-mobile wi-fi that i had turned on all right, so let's test it here. You can see it's connecting to T-Mobile. You see my pings at about 35, jitters 18. It looks like I'm gonna run about mid 30s, which is lower than I typically see. Okay, there we go. It's only 60, 70, um, and it is 9:30 at night, and so that's one of the, my topics I'll talk about here in a second. Because remember, I'm, I'm I'm using my phone, but I'm using the T-Mobile. Um, connection for this speed test. So there we can see uh, mid 20s for upload and that one's fairly consistent. The download is a little bit slower than typical but some of that has to do with the way that T-Mobile treats the home internet devices versus a cell phone. So let me turn off the Wi-Fi now and you can see up here I'm on 5G and I'll, tell, I'll, I'll go ahead and test while I'm here. You can see it says I have four bars of 5G. I've been using Cell Mapper and looking at it. And right here, I don't really get um, a good signal. It, it seems to be flipping bands even on my phone or the wife's phone. This is a Samsung S21 Ultra. And we only had it for a couple months. I mean, so it's a new phone. Shouldn't be a problem there. But I'm going to bet you money if I test it right here, it's not going to do so hot. So you can see the ping is a little bit better. But you can see these speeds here are nothing to write home about. This is on 5G T-Mobile. And I will say I, I have had a lot of problems at this house with changes in the signal. And you can see here, this, this is the biggest problem is the upload is nothing. Um, you know, sometimes it's even less than one uh, megabit per second. And it's because the 4G LTE 
band that it locks onto is so poor right here. So let me go to where I know is a little bit better. I'll go right here to this window. And just to make sure that I get the right band, I'm going to turn off my cell signal and reconnect. Okay, so now I'm gonna test it again. And so here you can see, I'm getting a little bit faster speed, 60, 70 maybe. And then the upload is gonna be slower than this T-Mobile home internet device. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about sometimes I get less than one megabits per second. And this is really, so the upload is the 4G band. And so I've looked at it and this phone on CellMapper, it is flipping bands like mad uh, in right here in this area. So I could go to another spot and I know that this phone when I go up the road, especially if I get the N41, which is the 5G Ultra, this phone is significantly faster than the home internet device. But here in the house, especially in this room, this phone is worse, significantly worse than the T-Mobile home internet. And it has to do with the antenna array, uh, is, is my assumption. Because from a theoretical standpoint of slowing down on T-Mobile home internet, it should be, if anything, slower than your cell phone because it's deprioritized. So it's not throttled. Uh, there's no cap. There's no like first 50 gigs at, at uh, full speed and then, it's, and then it's throttled. This is unthrottled, but it's deprioritized. So when the network is busy, you get the, in the back of the line and uh, you're basically in, you know, if you're thinking about rush hour traffic, you get to hop in the slow lane of traffic and the people that pay more for their cell phone plans get to go in the express lane. So I've played with this a lot around here and I've gotten uh, faster speed. Let me go here and look at my results. So I've done a lot of these, um, but if I go back here, I was getting so let's see, I gotta make sure I'm off of um, the Wi-Fi, but I was getting just like seven, four, and three uploads. I mean, nothing spectacular. In fact, I've opened tickets with T-Mobile of how poor the upload is on her 5G cell phone. So that doesn't bode very well for T-Mobile, and I've, I've had other videos where I talk about how T-Mobile is actually rated the number one for 5G for speed and coverage. And um, this just goes back to my story of your mileage may vary. And that's the most consistent story I can tell you is that there's variation. And so I'll grab my Verizon phone here and let me do something very similar with that. So let me open that up to give you an indicator of how this one does. So right now sitting here, you can see I don't get 5G, I get a 4G uh, signal from Verizon. And what do you know, I get the same speed as 5G. Um, that's because obviously I'm not getting crazy 5Gs here at home. And this tells you with a decent 4G signal, you can actually get the same type of speed. But Verizon as well, lo and behold, I have a problem with upload. So this, and I've talked to both Verizon and T-Mobile about this problem. They both say there's a problem and best I can reckon is the tower that these go to has a backhaul problem. So how that data gets from the tower back to a main junction, um, either through fiber or coax, they have a problem. Now if I go up here, again, right here to this window, I tend to be able to get a 5G signal Maybe. All right, well, I got slightly better speeds, but I, in the little quick attempt there, I couldn't get it to connect to 5G on Verizon. I did it just before I started recording this, just to check it. 
and the result I got then was 81 uh, megabits per second down, but still a very, very poor upload of 1.2 um, megabits per second. So let me just to prove to you guys that this T-Mobile Home Internet at the same time works. And if anyone asks, I have turned off the T-Mobile Home Internet just to make sure I wasn't getting any kind of interference of signal between that one. I've put both these phones right up where that tower is and they actually get worse performance there than they do on the window, which is the opposite of the, um, that tower actually gets better results there on top of the printer. Okay, so now that I'm connected this phone to the T-Mobile Home Internet Tower directly, so I'm not going through any of my you know, mesh setup, I'm just connected directly to that guy. You can see it goes T-Mobile, let's say it's going to T-Mobile Tower. So you can see, again, I'm getting right around that 60 uh, megabits per second download. And then hopefully you run this 20 to 25 up. Okay, so there you go. You can see that is pretty consistent and what I'll say with my T-Mobile home internet, once I got it tuned in to where I wanted it, and you can see on top of it, I have one of those little fans that have other videos talking about fans, either putting on the bottom or the top to help keep it cool, especially if you're running Wi-Fi and lots of devices to it. Once I have it there and I don't touch it, I have pretty good experience with it. In the past, I've had uh, much better speed. That's when I first started with this one at the beginning of the year, beginning of 2021. I was getting uh, over 100 uh, megabits per second download, 120, um, maybe even higher than that on, on occasion. They actually then upgraded my tower that's nearby and they took me down for a couple weeks when they did that. I really didn't get any uh, service. And then when they came back up, I actually got worse service. Now they added N41 to the 5G Ultra to that tower, but they didn't point the nodes in my direction. So I'm actually in a dead band of that N41. And what it did was because of the traffic congestion, it actually uh, maybe slowed down uh, my speed. I'm not exactly sure why <laughs> that happened, but what I will say is that it is consistent now, at least if I leave it there. So that's um you know my experience you know other people have different experiences i've read or heard that other people have um you know way faster on their phone and they're so disappointed because their t-mobile home internet gateway gives them crappy speed and i suppose that's a very real possibility if you're in a congested area that um, that deprioritization really does hurt you but in general what i found just like i found with my uh, external antenna um, video review is the antenna array in this Nokia gateway is actually pretty good and I don't have a lot of complaints about that I have complaints about the firmware inside there but the antenna seems to be pretty good and it's certainly better than both of my um, cell phones let's see this one is a um, S Samsung S20 I believe yeah, so this one's a S20, the wife's is a S21, and you know, so they should be good phones, but they can't match the upload. And I will admit, there's gotta be something going on um, here at my tower to have those kind of pathetic upload speeds on these phones, and I'll have an answer for that. But this is my experience with T-Mobile Home Internet. Yours might be different, so don't get mad at me <laughs> if it's different. Because my general warning is you got to test it out and find out uh, for your specific location if it works well or not. And remember, you know, I have several videos out there for tips and tricks. I was just at uh, my uncle's house this past weekend and we were messing with his T-Mobile Home Internet. He has the exact same gateway. And he was complaining about some of the things I saw where it would um, be a lot faster in the past. And now he's seeing less consistent. Um, and poor speed 
and with two of us there, I was moving the gateway around. He was logged into the 192.168.12.1 um, gateway web user interface, and we were checking the cell metrics for the which tower it was connected to because we found out that he was connecting to like three or four different towers depending on where we put it or what angle we put it at and we honed in to which tower he's seen that he gets the best speed but he couldn't always stay connected to so we tried to focus on that one and then we wanted to improve the signal to noise ratio of that um, tower to make sure we stay connected to it and had the fastest speed and what we found he had it on a desk here and we found out that actually putting it up on the wall by a window but not actually in the window and having an angle just right i mean we would move it not even five degrees and we would see the signal to noise levels change and the speed drastically change so remember that if you have a problem you really do need to fine tune that the cell phones don't seem to have that problem i've had both of these you know, I had them up there with that gateway off and I was rotating them different ways and seeing if they um, changed and they did not. So these cell phone antennas appear to be uh, more omnidirectional and less of a focus. So um, long story short, it's going to vary, but I think the antenna array is better in the gateway and the bigger challenge is what type of band you have available for you, what type of signal it is. And the other problem with the gateway is you can't band lock or anything. So people do uh, complain, like I said to my uncles, of the gateway switching towers on them and then all of a sudden they get drastically different speeds. So things to watch out for, but in general, having a T-Mobile phone and having service is a good indicator that uh, you can get the speed on the gateway 